Hello, and welcome to this brief overview on key informant interviews. During this module, we will touch on the following topics. What are key informant interviews? Why you would use this type of data collection method? And review when you would use them. Explore key steps to planning and conducting key informant interviews. Look at an example from the field. Take a quick quiz and end with additional resources. What are key informant interviews? Key informant interviews are qualitative, in-depth interviews of 15 to 35 people selected for their first-hand knowledge about a topic of interest. The interviews are loosely structured, relying on a list of issues to be discussed. These interviews resemble a conversation among acquaintances and are conducted one-on-one, -on -one, either on the telephone or face-to-face. -face. Why would you conduct a key informant interview? When you need information from knowledgeable people and have the flexibility to explore new ideas not anticipated during planning. You want an inexpensive and simple method to collect qualitative data. When you need to begin building relationships with key stakeholders and you want to raise awareness, interest, and enthusiasm around an issue. You would conduct a key informant interview when qualitative, descriptive information is sufficient for decision making. When there is a need to understand motivation, behavior, and perspectives of your customers and partners. When a main purpose is to generate recommendations, key informants can help formulate recommendations that can help improve a program's performance, give direction on critical community issues, or further clarify your understanding of customer needs. You may also consider this method when you have quantitative data collected through other methods and it needs to be interpreted. Key informant interviews can provide the how and why of what happened. In addition, you would want to conduct a key informant interview when preliminary information is needed to design a comprehensive quantitative study. Key informant interviews can help frame the issues before the survey is undertaken. Once the decision has been made to conduct key informant interviews, you will want to follow a simple step-by-step -step recipe like this one. Let's take a closer look at each step. The initial steps to planning key informant interviews are Step 1. Formulate study questions. These relate to to specific concerns of a study. Study questions generally should be limited to five or fewer. Step two, next you want to prepare a short interview guide. Key informant interviews do not use rigid questionnaires, which inhibit free discussion. The guide should list major topics and issues to be covered under each study question. Since the purpose is to explore a few issues in depth, Guides are usually limited to 12 items. Step 3. Select your key informants. Key informants should be selected for their specialized knowledge and unique perspectives on a topic. You will want to take care to select informants with various points of view. Selection consists of two, two tasks. First, you want to identify the groups and organizations from which key informants should be drawn. It is best to include all major stakeholders so that divergent interests and perceptions can be captured. Task two, you want to select people from each category after consulting with people familiar with the groups under consideration. Step four is to conduct the interview. Let's pause for a moment and review steps for conducting a key informant interview. Although key informant interviews are more informal than other forms of data collection, they still require a structure to be effective. Tips for conducting key informant interviews include the following. Establish rapport. Begin with an explanation of the purpose of the interview, the intended uses for the information and assurances of confidentiality. Sequence questions. Start with factual questions, questions requiring opinions and judgments 
should follow. In general, begin with the present and move to questions about the past or future. Phrase questions carefully to elicit detailed information. Avoid questions that can be answered by simple yes or no. Use probing techniques. Encourage informants to detail the basis for their conclusions and recommendations. Maintain a neutral attitude. Interviewers should be sympathetic listeners and avoid giving the impression of having strong opinions or views on the subject under discussion. Neutrality is essential because some informants, trying to be polite, will want to say what, the, what they think the interview wants to hear. Interviewers should take notes and develop them in detail immediately after each interview to ensure accuracy. They should use a set of common subheadings for interview texts, selected on an eye to the major issues being explored. Common subheadings ease data analysis. Shifting back to the recipe for planning key informant interviews, the final step, step five, organize and analyze the data. In the planning phase, you'll want to determine how you are going to organize and analyze the data you collect. Prepare interview summary sheets for each interview. This will help reduce the information into manageable themes, issues, and recommendations. Each summary should have a space to capture information about the key informant's position, reason for inclusion in the list of informants, main points made, implications of these observations, and any insights or ideas the interviewer had during the interview. Develop descriptive codes. These can help organize responses. These codes may cover key themes, concepts, keys, or ideas. Let's take a look at an example from the field. Here is an example from Tacoma Pierce County Health Department's Environmental Health Division. Each year they review their fee structure and conduct a routine public health review process. This year, they also included 14 key informant interviews to share information about the proposed 2015 fee increase and potential future fee increases to identify customer concerns, questions, and suggestions. Here is an example of their interview guide with a script and general questions to ask each informant. Lastly, here is an, an example of the customer input analysis summary completed after the final analysis. This groups the feedback in themes, issues, and recommendations. Let's test your knowledge. When are key informant interviews appropriate? A, when qualitative descriptive information is sufficient for decision making. B, when there is a need to understand motivation, behavior, and perspectives of our customers and partners. C, when a main purpose is to generate recommendations. D, when quantitative data collected through other methods need to be interpreted. Or E, all of the above. The answer is E, all of the above. Great job. Here are some useful resources and a list of other related topics covered in this series. You will find them on our YouTube channel. Search for Public Health Centers for Excellence and click on our logo. We look forward to hearing from you if you would like further technical assistance on this or other performance management topics. This presentation is part of a performance management in public health training series presented by Washington's Public Health Centers for Excellence and funded by a grant from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The centers are located in the Spokane Regional Health District and the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department. Our goals are to help local health jurisdictions and tribal agencies improve their results prepare for public health standards and accreditation. 
In addition to this training series, we offer technical assistance and resources in performance management to improve public health outcomes. If you would like to talk to us about how we may assist your organization, contact information is on the preceding slide.